Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these two circles that are tangent to not only to each other, but they are tangent to these two tangent lines as well, as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the radius of this bigger circle is 1 and now we are going to calculate the radius of this smaller green circle. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to observe. The center of this larger circle is F and the center of this smaller circle is P. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect this vertex A with this uh, center F. Let's go ahead and do that one. We are going to connect these ones. And here's our much nicer looking diagram once we have connected this vertex A with this center F. And this line passes through this center P and this point H as you can see. And moreover, we have connected this center F with these point of tangencies B and C such that this B F and this C F are our radii. And since these uh, F B and F C are our radii and we know that the radius of a larger circle is 1 so therefore this FB is 1 unit and this FC is 1 as well. Now let's recall the tangent to a circle theorem and here's our tangent to a circle theorem the angle between a tangent and radius is always 90 degrees that means they are perpendicular no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees and this angle is going to be 90 degrees as well and here's our next step let's focus on this square a b f c now let's let's recall the definition of a square and here's the definition of a square all sides have equal lengths and every interior angle is a right angle that means each interior angle is 90 degrees no wonder these are our 90 degrees angles all of them over here and moreover this side these all sides have equal lengths. Therefore, we conclude that all these sides of this square A, B, F, C are 1. This is 1, this is 1, this is 1, and this is 1 as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle A, B, F and we know that this is a right triangle therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this side this horizontal side a this vertical side b and this longest leg af as c and here's our Pythagorean formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. And we know that our A is 1, B is 1 as well, and C is AF. And now I'm going to fill in the blanks. So 1 square plus 1 square equal to AF square. On the left hand side, 1 square is same as 1 plus 1 equal to a f square so that means a f square turns out to be equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 let's go ahead and take the square root we're gonna undo this square so our a f simply turns out to be square root of 2 so thus this length a f turns out to be square root of 2 and now in this next step let's focus on this smaller circle now let's go ahead and zoom in as you can see 
and we can see that this PD and PE are the radii of this smaller circle. Now let's go ahead and call the, these radii as lowercase r as you can see over here PD equals to r and PE equals to r as well. And now let's recall tangent to a circle theorem once again and here's a tangent to a circle theorem the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees that means they are perpendicular so therefore this angle is going to be 90 degrees and this angle is going to be 90 degrees as well and now in this next step let's focus on this smaller square ADPE and uh, since these interior angles are 90 degrees no wonder this is square and since this is square that means all these sides are going to have equal length this side this side this side have equal lengths if these sides are r these are all sides going to be lowercase r as well so therefore all these side lengths are going to be a lowercase r and now let's focus on this our smaller triangle a d p and since this is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's the pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this side a d as a this side p d as b and this longest leg a p i'm going to call c now here is our pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square we know our a value is r b is r as well so this is going to become r square plus r square and c in our case is a p square on the left hand side they add up to 2 r square equal to a p square let's go ahead and take the square root on both side to undo this square this square square root this is gone so a p turns out to be equal to let's focus on this square root of 2 r square i have just copied down over here and if we simplify this thing we can write it as square root of 2 times r so therefore a p equals to r times square root of 2 so thus our this a p length turns out to be r times square root of 2 and here's our final step this length a f this one is equal to the sum of these individual lengths a p plus p h plus h f now we know that our af length is square root of 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blank square root of 2 equals to ap in our case is r times square root of 2 plus ph over here is radius lowercase r plus hf is the radius of this larger circle which is 1 now let's go ahead and move this 1 on the left hand side so we got square root of 2 and then minus 1 on the right hand side we can factor out r from here so if i factor out r i am going to get square root of 2 plus 1 and now let's go ahead and isolate this lowercase r by just dividing square root of 2 plus 1 on this side and square root of 2 plus 1 on this side this is gone so our r value turns out to be square root of 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 2 plus one so thus the radius of this smaller circle turns out to be square root of 2 minus 1 divided by square root plus 
one. And since we have a radical at the denominator, so therefore we are going to rationalize. And here I have just copied down this whole thing right up here, as you can see. Now let's focus on this denominator over here. So we are going to multiply by its conjugate, which is square root of two minus one, and divide at the same time square root of two minus one. Now let's focus on these denominators. These now let's multiply out these one. I have just copied it down over here. And if I use this formula, a plus b times a minus b, that is going to give us a square minus b square. And here our simplified answer turns out to be one. So we are going to put down in the denominator as one. So thus our radius r could be written as three minus two times square root of two. Or in terms of decimal, this lowercase r is approximately equal to 0 0.1716 units. And that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.